It's only been a couple of weeks, but Camp Higher Ground seems like a distant memory. The season kicks off this weekend and classes on campus have started. For the incoming freshman class, it can be a hectic time, especially for those playing a fall sport, except for those early enrollees. We good. You make sure good. DB's on the left, D-line on the right. Here we go, group. D-line on the right, let's go. All right, here we go. Bryce Jenkinson is an early enrollee. He finished up high school last fall and graduated and enrolled as a freshman at UC in January. The big benefit from coming in in January was all the teammates. Uh, they definitely helped me go through all the classes and everything like that. So now that I have the benefit to where I can help my freshmen coming in to where they're, you know, if they're struggling in classes or finding their way around campus or anything like that, I can help them out just like my teammates did in the spring because now it's, it's piece of cake to me like you said. So. Uh, the pluses and minuses, I think there's some pluses in terms of being able to come at a, at a uh, period of time when football season is not getting ready to start. Uh, it's more of a relaxed time when players come from high school. They can kind of work their way into football and academics at the same time. There's no pressure. There's no games coming up. They can kind of fit in and learn things in a slower pace academically and athletically. Uh, but the negatives is they're obviously leaving their senior uh, class that they've gone to school with for several years. Uh, I have in the past allowed all the, the early uh, enrollees to go to their senior proms, you know, go to their graduation in May or June, uh, finish up with their class as they normally would. Starting in January, Bryce got to begin working out with the team and got to participate in spring practice. But most importantly, he got to start school during the off season, giving him a jump on the books as well as football. I would be surprised if Bryce didn't graduate in about three, three years tops and then go on and start to his MBA because he's already a front runner um, as a sophomore going, well, he's technically still a freshman, but when he becomes a sophomore, he's gonna be uh, head and shoulders above the rest. Being an early enrollee also pays off for junior college transfers. Adarius Ray already had college classroom experience, so that adjustment wasn't that big for him. But football wise, being here since January has helped him become a starter for the offensive line. Well, number one, I don't think I would have like the advantage that I would as far as no, actually knowing the plays and then just alone like the type of training that these guys have, like it's, it's completely different. I mean, just like the way we work and stuff like, like, and also as far as like getting a bond with the people, like I feel like all that stuff carries over like going in onto the field, like getting to know the people, you know what I'm saying, getting comfortable with where you're at and then like the type of work that you put in. Like, I, I mean, I still would have worked hard. I would have grinded because that's how I am. But I just don't think I would have, it would have been um, as, I wouldn't have did it, excelled as high as I did if I wouldn't have came in in the spring. It's really up to the, the person, you know, what they feel like is best for them. And I let the families and the player make that decision. We don't push either way. But there are some advantages and there's some obviously disadvantages of leaving early for, uh, from, from high school and starting, starting early. But uh, I've had a lot of success with kids coming in, having a chance to go through spring practice, uh, getting acclimated to what we do on offense and defense, and then having a chance to play earlier in their career as a college football player.